Good morning, kindergartners. It's Miss Lessard. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Let's take a look at our calendar. Here we go. We have gold, pink, yellow, pink and purple, red rose, red tulip, purple. Gold, pink, yellow, pink and purple, red rose, red tulip. What do you think today is? Today's 14. 14 is a one and a four. And what? color flower do you think we have today? I hope you remembered my trick and I hope you said purple. My trick is to go up and down. Remember, it's like you think it's the hardest pattern it ends up being the easiest. All right, go straight up from our 14 and you see the diagraph TH Thursday because the calendar's a graph. How cool is that? All right, question of the day is what would you do with a million dollars? Oh, God, I have so many things I would do with a million dollars. I think I would pay off all my bills. I think I would give money to all my family. I think I would pay off my house, my car. I think I would go on a nice trip. What would you do? Well, I have a feeling I'm going to be getting lots of, you're going to buy every Mario toy there is. <laughs> Maybe you're going to buy tons of laptops and iPads. I don't know. Tell me, what would you do? Would you go on a trip? Uh, would you give it away? What would you do? Uh, today also would have been art. But no worries, because we are blessed that we have our art class tomorrow with Mrs. Stevens. So I will be sending you your Zoom link today, so be sure to look for it. So tomorrow at 12, we'll be Zooming. Uh, you have your show and tell, and then we'll have our art lesson. Okay, so don't forget to look for that. That's going to be fun. And don't forget for your art supplies. You need paper, pencil, eraser. And then if you have any kind of coloring, I now have my crayons. I found them in the garage. But if you have crayons or markers or anything else, it's going to be fun. I think she said we're drawing farm animals, which is so cool because we're learning about the farm right now. I know Mrs. Minjoni started with Little Red Hen. And it's going into farm next week. And I have a really fun book. I think you're going to love it. It's called Storm is Coming. And look at the end of that title. Do you remember what kind of punctuation that's called? That's an exclamation point or excited mark. And when you read it, you're supposed to say it with excitement. So I'm not going to say, storm is coming. I'm going to say, storm is coming. And look at all the animals. They're like, whoa. I think you're going to really like this. It's by Heather uh, Tekovec. And it's illustrated by Margaret Spengler. Here's the title page. I see a little farmer. Mr. Farmer. I see the, uh, the little black grayish clouds. Ooh, those are called nimbus clouds. Those are storm clouds. A dedication page for Tatiana and Catherine and to my husband, Ken Spegler, my biggest supporter. So, and it starts the new first page, but the title page is here too. So let me read the first page. The old farmer leaped out of his chair and clicked the radio off. <gasps> Hear that, doggy bellowed? Storm is coming! We better get the animals safely in the barn. And the dog on the farm is the helper, right? Oh, look, he's listening to our radio. Yeah, we used to always listen to radios in the old-fashioned days. Dog sprang to his feet, bounded out the door, round him up, the farmer called. His dog ran circles around the sheep. Storm is coming! Storm is coming, barked the dog. We have to get in the barn quickly. Frightened, the sheep raced after dog toward the barn. And here we are. And that's what dogs do. They go around and around the sheep, and it kind of forces them to move at the same time. It's like a little trick that works. On the way, he passed the pond where Duck was paddling. Storm is coming! Storm is coming! The sheep bleated. We have to get to the barn quickly. And Duck flapped up the grassy bank and flew ahead of the sheep. See how he said barn? Because there's sheep. <laughs> That's called bleeding. The cows in the pasture looked up at the animals sped past. Storm is coming! Storm is coming! Duck quack. We have to get to the barn quickly. And the cows herded together and joined the stampede. When they all reached the barn, the farmer hurried them inside, and then he shut the heavy door. Go the cows. <laughs> the barking, the flapping, ooh, the, 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 the barking, the flapping, the bleating, and the mooing awoke Cat from her nap in the hay. She stretched and she yawned and opened one eye. Storm is coming, the animals told her at once. And who is Storm? She meowed. The cows looked at the dock. The duck looked at the sheep. The sheep looked at the dog. The dog didn't know. <laughs> 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 One 
Well, he must be very mean, Dog decided, moving to guard the door. And he must be very scary, the sheep stammered, starting to shiver. Big, big, he must be very big, Duck sputtered, flapping into the air in a flurry. And the cow was just laying in the corner and moaned. Cat yawned again. Wake me when he gets here, she murmured. And she drifted back to sleep. <laughs> Isn't that just like a cat? <laughs> they think Storm's a person. <laughs> the animals waited and listened, but there's no sign of Storm. We need a lookout, Dog Bark. And Duck flew up the open window and cautiously peeked out. No storm. No storm, he quacked. But the sky's grown very dark. <laughs> look at him. Look how cute. Little mouse is looking, too. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> oh, no, bleated the sheep. Even the sun is hiding from the storm. And the cows dropped their heads and moaned louder. Dark is good, Dog told them. Storm can't find us in the dark. The animals nodded. That is good, they agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Duck called down again. I still don't see Storm, but there's a big wind blowing. Great, Dog Bark. The wind will blow Storm away. The cows lifted their heads and the sheep stopped shaking. <laughs> but then they heard a very heavy tapping on the roof. I think it's the rain. Storm is knocking the sheep cried. No, 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 no. It's only rain, Duck informed them. Dog nodded. The rain will wash away our tracks so Storm can't follow us, he added. The cows and the sheep listened for a moment, and they nodded in agreement. Ooh, if you look really carefully, you'll see a weather vane. We learned about that during our weather unit. And they said there's a lot of them on top of barns. One more time, Duck called on. I still don't see Storm, but the sky is flashing. The sky is going to blind Storm so he can't see us, Dog announced. And the cows scrambled to their feet, and the sheep started shuffling. So you see the lightning, all part of the storm. A roll of thunder shook the barn. Hear that, duck? Dog barked. Yes, yes, duck quack. The clouds are growling at storm. They'll scare them away for sure. All day long, the wind blew, the rain fell, the lightning flashed, the thunder rolled, and through it all, the animals cheered. Yay! <laughs> How cute is that? But then everything stopped. The sky went silent, and so did the animals. They waited and listened, and Duck flew down to huddle the others. Now they're worried that storm's going to come because the storm's over. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. Someone's going to the barn. Quick, click. Someone's opening the door. Someone's coming in. And the animals backed into the corner. There it was. Storm had come to get them. The door swung wide open, and the animals gasped. <gasps> oh, look how scary. Look at them. They're so afraid. It was the farmer. Everybody out, he called. It's all safe now. Hooray, shouted the animals. <laughs> Did you figure out it was a farmer? The barking, the flapping, the bleeding, and the mooing. A woke cat again. He stretched and yawned and opened one eye. Did I miss Storm? She meowed. No, Dog reported. Storm never came. Then he ran out in the sunshine with the others, and Cat went back to sleep. <laughs> the end. Clap if you like it. Oh, such a good book. Such a good book. Have a fantastic day. I can't wait to see your work. Can't wait to see what you do with a million dollars. I'll see you tomorrow at Zoom for show and tell and for art class. Bye, guys. Mwah.